Hi, my name is Martin from the Instagram page Bourbon Patty, and welcome to this guest hosted edition of Uncorking. So it's Bourbon Heritage Month, and I've lined up something extra special for you guys on this review. It's Jefferson's Ocean Aged at Sea. So this bourbon is pretty unique from the standpoint that it's six to seven year old bourbon. It's put into a custom crate, which is then loaded onto an ocean liner and it's sailed around the world for about six to eight months. Um, it crosses the equator four times, touches five continents and visits about 30 ports, which is impressive. So let's see how it tastes. Okay, so this bottle is Voyage 3, as you can see right there. Um, it came out just before they made the batch more consistent, which was with Voyage 4. Um, I previously had Voyage 8 and I really liked it. Um, so I'm excited to see how this batch turned out because each batch is different. So now for the moment of truth. Okay, overall this is a fantastic bourbon. When I compare it to the other Jefferson's products I've tried, such as Small Batch or the Jefferson's Reserve, there's a lot more complexity there, which I think is in a large part due to the fact that this bourbon has experienced such adverse atmospheric conditions. So intense heat when it's crossing the equator, there's a lot of uh, ocean movement, which is sloshing the bourbon around in the barrels, it interacts a lot more with the wood, you get a lot more flavors from the wood. Um, I really like it, and although it is a little bit expensive, when I consider all the effort that went into making it, like putting it on an ocean liner and shipping it around the world for six months, I buy it, it's really good. So thank you for watching this uncorking review. Um, follow me on Instagram, I'm Bourbon Patty. Uh, I try to post daily pictures of my bourbon from my collection and I do weekly reviews. So hopefully I'll see you there. Cheers!